Baptist. 11 News reporter John Sherman joins us live from the Gobins Presbyterian Church in North Baltimore with the details. John. Many others have been struggling with tonight. Baltimore's Presbytery, 74 churches and nearly 20,000 members strong, stands in favor of permitting same-sex marriage. There was a debate, just like you would have um, in the legislature. Reverend Peter Nord is the executive presbyter in Baltimore, leading Presbyterians in nine Maryland counties. The Presbytery has um, been on record for some time wanting to make sure that um, equal civil rights were accorded to people who were in covenantal relationships um, that involved same-sex individuals. By a vote of 76 to 71, the Presbytery moved to bring change up for debate with the National Church. A reference in their Book of Order would change from referring to marriage as between a man and a woman to between two people. Another reference to marriage as a civil contract between a man and a woman would change to marriage is a covenant between two people. We're very happy with what the Presbyterian did. Reverend Tom Harris of Govins Presbyterian Church in North Baltimore argues it's about equal civil rights. We hope that as people get to know their gay and lesbian neighbors and their gay and lesbian friends and family members, they'll really see that it's an important issue of equality and it's only tradition that keeps people from allowing marriage for, for all people. There's no other reason except tradition and that's not a good reason to exclude people. But 12 Maryland Presbyterian reverends wrote a letter of dissent saying Jesus Christ defined marriage as between one man and one woman. Our confessions and scripture lead us to the conviction that marriage is between one man and one woman. The National Presbyterian Church will take up this issue and debate it in June. We'll have much more tonight coming up new at 6 o'clock. Live in Goldman's John Sherman, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, John.